What's up guys and gals, Coach Dale here. Wanted to do a little course preview of the 2021 Memphis and Mary Triathlon. Uh, we'll be talking about the Olympic distance race right now. I'll do a separate video for the sprint distance race. Um, for those that don't know, the Memphis and May Triathlon is one of the longest standing uh, triathlons in the country. It started in 1983. It has been moved to several different locations over the years. Um, even did a short stint uh, in uh, Tunica, Mississippi uh, at the Harrah's uh, Casino down there. Um, but I feel like this uh, race was always meant to be at Shelby Farms and this venue. Um, it is the same venue that um, is going to be used for the Ironman Memphis 70.3. And um, so you will get a bit of a taste of the, um, well, the water, obviously, and the run course on uh, this particular race. Um, and we'll get to that in just a second. But um, when you come in in the morning, you will park most likely um, up in these, up in this area up here. It's a flatter, uh, flatter area. There's a lot of uh, parking up here. A lot of the 5Ks, 10Ks sort of thing, they all kind of park up in here. This being a smaller event, um, by all you know most likely we'll, we'll be up here parking um and then you'll kind of walk down this hill here and transition is going to be set up right next to this um amphitheater here so we have like a little stage here transition is going to be somewhere in this area right here probably this very flat grass area uh, since it's very close to the swim start and exit um so that's your parking situation um, so I'm going to try to go through the course as quickly as possible and without trying to leave anything major out. Um, so this race, obviously 1500 meter swim, it's going to be a clockwise swim. So I know they say, uh, start and finish over here, but you're going to start over here. Um, and we're going to do a short little, um, short little leg out. And then that will be the, um, that buoy will stay on your left and then the rest of the buoys until you come back in here will be on your right so coming down nice nice stretch toward the uh, convention center here uh, or the uh, sorry the um, FedEx Center here and then uh, coming coming down uh, that that is essentially um, south and then back along this long stretch there should be plenty to sight here, and there will be buoys every uh, 100 yards, 100 meters or something like that. Um, but these islands here, um, I don't think we're actually going to go quite as close as the lines making it look uh, to the um, to the island. But um, overall, pretty easy swim. It's very flat, and uh, by all uh, chances, there are well there's no chance that there's that this particular race in uh this year in 2020 will be in august it's usually in may um no chance it'll be wetsuit legal so probably just leave that thing at home so um once you get out of the water you're gonna run uh there should be some carpet or something um in this area it's kind of a gradual out almost like a rocky beach here um so you'll run out into transition, and then I'll go to the bike course here. All right, let me zoom in on the on the uh, park here. All right, <clears throat> so bike course, 40K. Um, for the most part, it is pretty flat. There is a couple of little hills, rollers on the course. Um, these elevation profiles are, are always terrible so don't pay attention to that but when you come out of t1 you're going to ride the bike path here over to great view drive this is probably the hardest hill in the whole <laughs> call this a rude awakening uh this is probably the hardest hill on the whole course right here uh, great view drive goes up it's pretty steep gets a little steeper toward the top um but it's just the fact that it's really early um you, you barely gotten your legs turned over that it's uh, that it's not going to be very pleasant, but um, 
once you get up here on top of this this great view drive north it's flat to down you'll go downhill and then kind of slight up uh on uh, north pine lake to get out of the park um zoom out here so mullen station here this is pretty good pavement pretty fast um you're going to come around this turn this is not a this is more like a bend here um, you can take that pretty fast raleigh lagrange you're going to stay on it you're going to pass our nice Sylvie farms dog park um and then come out it basically just changes into trinity road that yeah, things things happen like that in uh in Memphis, um, roads just change names randomly. Uh, it happens on happens on a lot of the courses we do. Um, so Trinity Road out to Germantown Parkway. So of all of the parts of the course, Germantown Parkway is probably your uh, worst pavement. So just keep your head up. There could be some cracks in the road. There could be some potholes. Um, it is a it's one of our main thoroughfares um, in the area, so we'll have a lane blocked off. Uh, there will be police at intersections. Um, but this stretch um, from from uh, Germantown Parkway to Wolf River is net downhill, so it is it should be pretty fast. You just have to keep your head up for um, for some crappy road. Uh, the road. When you turn onto Wolf River Boulevard, Wolf River, there's the turn there is has some not great pavement in it. But literally, once you turn on Wolf River Boulevard, you'll get maybe I don't know 100 feet, and it'll be pretty new pavement. So this stretch right here, depending on the wind, we generally get east-west or west-east wind, um, but you never know. Um, this section is usually pretty fast. So straight shot, almost no, there's, it's Flaz Pancake. Um, it's it's kind of one of our, our uh, really fast, like Strava segments in town. So um, this section is very fast. Once you get down here toward the hospital, you'll take a ramp and you'll come back up on Walnut Grove. And so Walnut Grove, uh, again, depending on the wind, is pretty flat it gets it it goes up it rises up over when you get on the bridge over germantown uh, parkway um, and then it kind of rolls down and up over here on this end of the course but overall like this this first stretch is very flat there are some um there are some pretty good bumps on on walnut grove uh just keep your head up and they're they're basically perpendicular to the road so you're not you're not going to be able to to miss them um, but they're just like uh, where the where the pavement has kind of broken apart and there's you know a, a inch or two crack in the road um, but overall it's not gonna hurt you you're just gonna you can't avoid them uh, you're gonna hit them um, it just bump you around a little bit but overall not too bad um, so this stretch right here could be pretty fast depending on the wind you go up over Jimtown parkway and then down and then as you come uh closer to the churches over here you're basically going to go up and down again so it's a little bit of a grindy uh roller uh over near the churches and then you'll kind of come downhill to this um right hand turn which is the magical forest hill irene that just stops and disappears uh, into nothingness, basically just a dead end for us. I read. Um, so you'll come down here, 180 turn, you'll come back. Um, honestly, I have not ridden this all that much. Um, last I remember the pavement down here is pretty good and it's pretty wide. It's like a four lane road. So, um, you'll probably be in the left lane so that you can pull that 180 and come back in the left lane since we're taking another left turn. Uh, I would expect there to be um, some sort of police or something on this corner since you're turning left back on Walnut Grove. But um, it is, it's, pretty, it's pretty flat on this section. Um, it may roll a little bit, but I don't think it should be too bad. I can't, can't vouch 100%. But um, as you get back on Walnut Grove, it's going to kind of um, 
go, it's, it's pretty slight up maybe, flat slight up, to Sangha. Now Sangha will probably be your, um, like the next, I say worst, but be like toughest section um, because it's pre this stretch of Sangha is pretty rolling. Um, and once you get up closer to Trinity, it goes, um, it goes up. It's a grinder to where it's probably going to slow you down. You're going to, uh, you know, you're not just going to carry speed up it. Um, but once you kind of get past the, like you get past the fire station up at the end here, it starts to flatten back out. And then once you, once you're on Trinity, Trinity is flat. Um, so you'll be able to fly back this way. Trinity is a four lane road as well. Um, so I'm assuming we'll be in the left hand lane. Um, so flying back on Trinity and then you're, and then you're taking a left onto Walnut Bend. So Walnut Bend, the, the turn there, it's a four lane road and there's a four way stop. Uh, so I would expect there to believe to be a police presence there to make sure that, uh, you can safely make that left turn onto Walnut Bend. Um, and the nice part here is we are going on the fast direction of Walnut Bend. Uh, the Ironman course goes uh, north. We are going south. South direction is much faster. It rolls. Walnut Bend does roll, um, but you're on the fast part of the rollers. It's not until toward, toward the very end of Walnut Bend that it's going to roll up enough to kind of slow you down a little bit. So overall, pretty fast section right here. Um, and then you're jumping back on Walnut Grove. All right, so coming back in, you know, so if you do have, if you had a tailwind out, you're gonna have a headwind back or vice versa. Um, but it is gonna roll up over the bridge here. And then once you get over the bridge coming back in, it's gonna be pretty fast. Even if there is wind, it's very flat um, to even net down going toward the park. So uh, you should be able to just bomb this last section. Um, so right turn onto Farm Road. I'll try to zoom in here. There we go. Uh, right turn into Farm Road, and then you're going to turn, uh, come into this this entrance of the park. Um, so this section right here does roll a little bit, kind of over here near this parking lot, kind of rolls up, and then down here, and then so you will kind of have like this is probably where I would take my shoes off uh, because you are kind of on this downhill. Um, when you start getting up to speed. You can take your shoes off here because you can pretty much roll all the way into um, the transition area. Um, so you're going to come bike path down into the transition area. There'll be a dismount line, uh, obviously, that you have to get off of your bike before. And then you're going to transition uh, in the transition area. So on to the run. The run course. Um, the run course is very much um, most of the um, Ironman course, but in reverse. So we're, we're kind of doing a reverse direction uh, of the course here. So um, you're coming out of T2 and you're going to run a counterclockwise loop um, around the lake here. So these um, bends here are all kind of tight. Um, so my suggestion would be to run tangents around them, um, you know, cut the shortest distance through these turns um, because they are, they're pretty tight and they, you know, they, they're there to, they're, they add distance, but um, there's, you can, you can basically get through them much quicker if you cut tangents through them. Um, coming around here, this is flat. This is the lake, flat, flat, flat. If there's wind, it'll be windy, but it, Early in the morning, I doubt it. We don't normally get a ton of wind early in the morning. Um, so flat, 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 flat. And then you're gonna come up. Um, you are coming on this path. You're gonna cut back. This does a little zigzag here. And then you're gonna jump up on Great View and then you get to go up this hill again. So we get to ride up it, we get to run up it. It is the worst hill on the, on the run course. Um, but once you're up it, you're, it's pretty flat uh, for a little ways. So steeper hill here, just punch it. Once you get to the top, you're gonna basically go kind of flat to, to down. 
um, and you're gonna jump on the Chickasaw Trail. And then this section right here is very flat. Um, there's a lake here, a little pond here with the giant lily pads in it. Um, you're gonna cross over here and go behind the playground. So there's this section right here does roll a little bit. And then when you get up, like there's a little punchy hill here. And then when you get up close to the playground, it's gonna go back down pretty punchy. Um, so maybe a little bit of a quad buster there, but you'll, you'll gain some speed. Um, this stretch is net uphill. So um, this will be one of your longer um, uphills on the course. But once you get up here, this section is pretty flat following the path here. Um, once you get to the, um, the corner right here, this tree right here, uh, this is kind of where it goes down and up. So it'll go down, you go pretty fast down, and then you got to climb your way out all the way over to here. So there's, um, it's really not that bad, but um, you're going to be coming down this pretty fast and then uh, up and out. Realistically, that is it. So you're almost at mile four, and um, the the rest of the course is going to be pretty much net downhill or flat. So once you get up here, so mile four, this is all pretty flat to net down, um, flat flat as can be here. This this path, so you're you're all on running path at this point. Um, pretty much the whole run is on running path. Um, this is all flat, 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 flat. Um, once you kind of get over here to Pine Lake, this is like a sharp downhill right here. Um, and then it's not until you get back toward the visitor center here that you are going to have to go uphill again. So my suggestion here is to punch this uphill as hard as you can because you get a really nice fast downhill right here and then you're going to take that left on uh, onto the path and then come up to the finish line right here this is all flat too so once you cross over pine lake punch it down push yourself on this uphill right here so that you get this downhill as a reward and you carry that speed all the way into the finish so overall uh it is it is a rolling course i wouldn't say um like super hilly because all the hills are very short but i believe it's a, a nice challenging course um for for everyone um but it's also very self-contained very spectator friendly um, all that good stuff. Like I said, I think this is where this race has meant to be uh, or is meant to be um, moving forward. So hope you guys enjoyed that. Let me know if I messed anything up.